YT! What's good? Sup guys? We are the SJ Bros. Actually, we're not. I'm alone. Right now, for this video, I'm alone. Shem and Chai are not gonna be here because this one is for my school. This is for my art appreciation subject. As you have already read the uh, title, the, it's about the Starry Night. And with that being said, guys, uh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I'm sorry because it's been a long time. Okay, It's been a long time since we've uploaded a video and I'm not used to vlogging anymore. But uh, I chose this uh, option to make this project or requirement, I mean, because I also want to upload in the channel because it's been a long time. So with that, guys, let's now move on. To the uh, topic okay so today i will be discussing about one of the most iconic paintings in the world i'm talking about one of my favorite paintings and that is the starry night by vincent van gogh i'm going to discuss the iconic plane of this painting in detail later on sorry for the squeaky chair it's old okay so we will learn why it is such an icon the starry night it's an icon guys so with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it so first things first i will talk about the iconic plane of art briefly for those of you who do not know what it is but if you already know what it is then that's good for you maybe you're an artist an artsy person an art person an art fan i don't really know the right term but you know you love art okay so iconic plane focuses on the subject of the artwork iconic plane looks at the type kind and source of the subject with this plane we will know how the artist describes the subject iconic plane basically helps us understand the artwork even more it is harder to understand some paintings on our own without knowing what the artist actually intends and personally I want to know what the artist had in mind then interpreting it on my own and that's because I'm not really quick-witted and about art I mean I'm not good at interpreting art paintings to be specific and uh, yeah I, I need this I need this one so now that you know what an iconic plane is let us now move on to the main topic of this video but wait uh, guys, sorry I'm reading a script, okay? Because this is for my school, it has to be proper. I'm trying, okay? So now, let's move on to the main topic of this video again. So let us start with the meaning of the Starry Night. Actually, according to what I've read, it's an article, guys. And to avoid plagiarism, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below. So if you want to check the article out and read everything that's in there, then go ahead and click that link. And uh, I did not add everything that was there in here to avoid plagiarism. <laughs> so now, Van Gogh regards the Starry Night a failure, guys. Can you believe it? He regards it as a failure. But for me, it's such an icon. Well, that is because this painting was different from his usual way of painting his artworks. I don't know about you, Mr. Van Gogh, but I do not consider that as a failure. I can't even do that even if I did my best. He's really good, man. Anyway, if you look closely, the Starry Night has a dark palette. Compared to his other works during that time, this one is darker than the usual paintings he made well um, <clears throat> to be honest I personally did not know that because I have not seen all of his paintings I'm like a bandwagon a hype beast because the starry night is uh, it's hype so according to the article that I read art historians attribute the color palette of the starry night to his depressive state well if you did not know that Van Gogh actually experienced anxiety and depression. It's actually darker than what I thought. So now we know that the blues represent his sadness, the sky. 
Let's look at the stars and the uh, and the crescent moon. We can clearly see that it is lighter than the rest of the painting. They stand out because they are the source of light in the painting, which makes sense because stars and the moon provide light during nighttime. And is it a coincidence that this happened? Uh, I don't think so. It's pretty smart. I just learned that this painting is actually often interpreted to have a hopeful message. Van Gogh wrote to his brother Theo, hope is in the stars. This is exactly my point why knowing the artist's idea is important because it will help us understand the work even better. Iconic plane is important guys. I mean I didn't even know that because all this time I thought it was just like a dreamy painting to make you feel calm but actually there's a whole uh, it's not a whole different story but it's a different story so the stars and the moon can be classified as representational subjects because they represent hope for Van Gogh okay so wow I, I re seriously guys I did not know about that and now let's talk about his technique when he made the starry night well, according to the article that I read, <clears throat> link down below guys, Van Gogh used short painterly brush strokes, brush strokes, <clears throat> that was hard to say, an artificial color palette, and a focus on luminescence. Yes, that's why like the, the stars and the moon, they were giving light to the painting. Okay, so this approach can be seen especially with the sky in the painting. It is composed of a thickly applied tonal collection of blue and gold hues. In the article, it was stated that this treatment helped to explain why it became so famous. Well, yes, because the technique is, you know, it's not the typical one. I have to say this, uh, color blue is not one of the colors that I like. Growing up, I was more of a color red guy, which is why I'm color, uh, which is why I'm wearing color red right now. And though this artwork did capture my attention, and I like it so much, I gotta give it to Van Gogh. Like I don't know how and why, but there's just something about this painting, this painting that captivated me. I guess because of his technique in making this painting. Which is not typical. Uh, I mean, if you will look at the lines, like on this picture that I'm showing you right now of the starry night, it's not the usual way of painting, guys. So, to add another fact about Van Gogh, he actually paints what is in front of him. So, for example, if, like this penguin right here, I can I will paint it as it is. But that that was his usual style, but he changed it a bit when he made the starry night. He did more visualization for this painting. In addition to the sky of the starry night, it is the most dreamlike element to the composition. I agree with this because for me, this painting is very calm. I think that's the reason why I like this painting even though it is color blue. However, the real meaning behind it is actually sad. But that makes sense because color blue is often associated with sadness. Van Gogh seems to convey turbulent emotion when we look at the swirls in the sky. Like that makes sense. Like you can feel his emotion with the, the swirl. You know, his it's like stress. If you look at the painting on the on the left side, the Hamlet and the prominent church spire were just imagined by Van Gogh. I did not know that. I thought it that it was a real scenario, like it was in front of him but it was inspired by the architecture of his home in the Netherlands. And remember, he was in an asylum when this happened. Well, I hope you learned something about the Starry Night because I sure did. I've been seeing this painting for so long now. And uh, to sum it up, we can say that this painting is a landscape painting. And why? Because the subject, the focus of the subject, I mean, the subject is the sky and the stars and the crescent moon. So it's a natural thing. It's not man-made. So the subject is a representational subject because the sky represents 
turbulent emotion, stars and the moon represent hope. And we also know now that his subject was inspired from his home in the Netherlands. So that's the source of the subject. This is the iconic plane of the Starry Night. Let me show you now the influence of this iconic painting in today's society as a bonus content. Today we can see this painting using different media such as salt and spices, jelly beans, doorknobs, torn paper, embroidery, and it can also be seen in the form of a decorative decal, charming mug, artsy pillow, and a luminous umbrella. All of these forms of art are great. Like, I'm not even kidding guys. I would personally want those decorative decals for my keyboard and that umbrella. It's so drippy guys. So they look really neat. You know, I, I want that. I already have a pair of socks that has this design so I want to add the decals and the umbrella to the roster of my things with the Starry Night design. Once again, we can see how iconic this painting is. And thanks to Vincent van Gogh's great technique, we get to enjoy it until today. I hope you all learned something today, guys. So, let's go to the outro, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It feels weird without my brothers saying the outro. So, that's it. SJ Bros, signing out.